that's the better way of dealing with it. But most people give a shove. So let's just start with a shove. If you give me this big explosive shove, it's, you're not going to defend the first one. Because it's not a telegraph game maker, it's a center line shove. You're, you're, people teach it, you're not going to defend the first one. You're just not. But what you got to get used to, if he gives me the shove, this is how you're going to be able to catch my base. So anytime someone gives you a hard shove, you get hit with a car, whatever, like, boom, I got to go in my fence. I got to catch my base, get my center line protected, have my fence. This creates a barrier. And it shows everyone else, witnesses, and then the CTV TV, that you are the defender. He goes to jail, you don't, hopefully. That's the goal, okay? So when he shoves, Brody looks trouble, back up, back up, and then they usually charge in with a big right, something. Okay, as he does that, I play my base, and I go back in him. Most people get in trouble by going back, back, back. You want basically like a two-step rule in self-defense, you can take two steps back, but don't take three. You don't want to psychologically too empower him, but you do like to give him a little bit and lure him in. Okay? Take your two. I was defensive. I didn't want any trouble. Back off, dude. And I usually yell that. You want verbally de verbal de-escalation as well. So he gives the shove. Booty looks true. Back up the way. Trouble. He comes ahead. I spring into this. Oh, he got his bicep in there. So Philip, Filipino Kali suddenly worked. I didn't care where it landed. I'm doing a cover, but I'm stepping into it. So I call it a head and elbow spear. Okay, so I'm gonna spear into him, and that time I actually did gooching his bicep. I happened to catch his again, I happen to catch his bicep. If he catches his shoulder in here, that's gonna hurt. I happen to catch his chin, because I don't know, I'm hit from behind and I'm dizzy. It's still gonna work. So a cover, a good cover block should be cut tight. I don't hear people make this fake things. It should be tight like a comb in your hair, but one frame. That way, even if it's a knife, hopefully it doesn't slip in the hole. Hopefully it hits my arm and my shoulder instead. Okay? But this is also like an uppercut elbow, so I can jailhouse around the guy inside with blocks or elbows or the same thing. Kind of. So I back up, cut my base. He comes in, I can easily do that. The thing is to not have fear and to steer into it. Plum, collar, single collar, plum. Knee the pills, knee the pills, he fall down, he eats each other. Okay, if they fall down from the second knee to the pills, you can get to him or snap down. If he comes up because he's like him and he doesn't care, maybe he's on chemicals and drunk and his pills have shrunken because he's been doing this his whole life. So he's got no pills and I squeeze the guys once in a bar fight and I didn't get the reaction all this. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. He might posture really strong and he elbow blast his face. So you got to be prepared for it. But the entry is the same, head and elbow, spear. Boom, single collar, tight to my head, double plump, double collar. Knee the pill with my forward, like a horse, gallop step. Boom, boom, knee the pill, he goes down, tight elbow, simple guillotine. You don't gotta have elbow, you don't gotta do nothing crazy, because on the street, he's probably not a black belt attacker. You got like a one in 600 chance of it, okay? Pinch the elbow, don't lean back, we're just gonna squat. Pull up. I, you can do whatever grip you like. If you like ball and socket, I just like this. And keep his head elbow tight so he doesn't pull his head up. I know your are to guys. Just do a simple one. Okay? Or, if he goes down from that second heap of pills, I can grab the shirt and jacket and just wreck him down to the ground and run away. That also works very good if he happen to have, like, puff it up and he's got his homies here. I can wrench him down Boom, gang, and just run, or maybe clock. <laughs> I got a hole. Do they think you're going to stand still? No, Jackie Chan, get that out of there. Nike <laughs> food. Okay? Get out of there if you're on them. If I got a weapon, get out of there. Get an equalizer if you have to. Okay? Uh, this time, let's pretend he has no pills. I'm here, so I need him to go to the charge step to load the way. He comes up there. Keep that single collar to you. Elbow, elbow, look my foot. Mm -hmm. Elbow. I have a third elbow, fourth elbow, he usually falls. Maybe your elbow's awesome, you knocked him out. If you did it though, he's doing this. And he's gonna trip on the curb or just over his own feet. That's the goal. 
making back pedal forward blocks. But I don't do knee, knee, elbow, elbow, elbow. I do back off, back off, back off. Spear, knee, knee, elbow, elbow, elbow. So look at all the distance. So I'm loading like a horse. Gallop step, gallop step, elbow, elbow. Make sense? Back off, dude. I want trouble. I want trouble. Boom, boom. <laughs> okay? So before you get pads with a partner, Everyone face the wall and just practice floor. So spread out on the line. Stand square. 